Hello, my name is David Izumo. I'm a principal engineer in technical marketing with Live Action, and I'm based out of Honolulu, Hawaii. In this video, we'll be discussing bandwidth management and capacity planning. Now, the challenge really is understanding all of your bandwidth usage across all of the many WAN links and service provider connections on your various remote sites to make sure that you never exceed your bandwidth requirements. Now, what are the results? By looking at LiveNX, we can help with network capacity assessment, service assurance verification, and just make sure that you have the bandwidth necessary for your end users. So let's dive into LiveNX. Here's the LiveNX web UI. This is the dashboard that you'll see as soon as you log into the software. Now, by choosing the menu on the left-hand side, we'll be looking primarily at the WAN interface capacity story or workflow. By selecting this, we'll take you to this page where you can look at all of the various sites, all of the various service providers, and show you the top interface bandwidth changes month over month. Now notice that I'm looking specifically at Site Los Angeles for the month of March, and the time window I'm looking at is all hours, or you can look for business hours specifically. Now notice as I scroll down that the Los Angeles site on service provider SP4 on Gigabit Ethernet 02 has the most amount of bandwidth. There's the 95th percentile, as well as we track the amount of percent change month over month. Now by clicking on Gigabit Ethernet 02, we'll take you into the second page of the story. So again, we're looking specifically at Site Los Angeles on SP4 for that service provider. There's the interface bandwidth over time the 95th as well as the 99th percentile. As I scroll down, we provide you interface errors over time, interface utilization as well, based off of the total capacity of the link. QoS drops inbound, nothing to speak of, but QoS drops outbound, there's a good amount of bandwidth going outbound, and we'll see how it's mapped to the QoS policies. There's the top applications inbound, as well as outbound. And then as I scroll down, the DSCP values inbound as well as outbound. And then finally, the conversations, the source IPs and the destination IPs. So let LiveNX help you with bandwidth management and capacity planning. To try LiveNX for yourself, go to www.liveaction.com download.